Welcome, I am known as Layout on YouTube. I want to show you how I made my own Adeptus Orbitis paint scheme. This miniature is the leader from the Kill Team Exaction Squad, so let's jump into the painting process. At first, I sprayed very light grey, almost white, with a rattle can. I did not subassemble the miniature, even if I really wanted to. Um, I will train my precision work this way. I first started by applying a generous layer of cloudburst blue. It was applied on the suit and the clothes under the armor. I started this way so I can put white paint back on the mistakes I made. I used hardened leather on the belt holster and a few details. For such small details, I am not confident enough, for now, to paint with regular paint. I painted the weapon casings and flat surfaces with slaughter red. I like to add color to the weapons or tools a miniature holds. I think it is a great way to add many colors for contrast with the color you see the most on the miniature. I got inspired to paint orange visors and optics by looking at the box art. I ended up my brush strokes on the edges of the visor. This way, more paint is left here. It gives light to the center of the visor and shade towards the edges. I did the same things for the skin. It was time to paint the metallic armor. From now on, it is important to be as accurate as possible, not to make any mistakes on the previously painted areas. It is fun time to base coat. I am still learning how to use my homemade wet palette and how dilution works. It was a great time learning and practicing here. I hope you are learning and improving your painting skills day by day.
I used High Lord Blue on the Purity Seals applied on the red. It does reinforce contrast and it is another shade of blue on the miniature so it looks more natural, I believe. I think having multiple shades of the same color on a model helps to achieve great results. It gives more natural texture and variation. At least, I think, I don't know if I'm right. I used to play Dark Heresy, a tabletop RPG in the Warhammer 40k setting. On the artwork pages of the Arbitrator player class, the shoulders were red. I really liked this artwork and it is what inspired this paint scheme and the Orbites I did create on this TT RPG. Black is a great choice to add variations if you feel like there is too much of a tone on the miniature. I wanted to add a bit more details in the colors and it did a perfect job. I am applying Agrax Earthshade wash on all the metallics. It will add depth and shade to the paint and even fill some small places where almost white primer is showing. For the final step, I used Runefang Steel and edge highlighted the metallics. I think it is a step not everyone wants to do because of the fear failure gives. But how could you better yourself if you do not train? Is it important in the end? Ask yourself, does one or two mistakes really matter? By the end of a squad of miniatures, I can guarantee you, your painting skills will be much higher than when you began. Please, try and improve. You are so close to be proud of your work. I should mention that I used a pretty dry brush like the one you see on the video with Runfang Steel and I added strokes to the metallics so it gives a really cool shine and battle effect on the armor. It was great time painting this miniature. I will play a Warhammer game for the first time with this squad on a kill team setting this week. I hope you the very best. May you enjoy your hobbies and be proud of what you are achieving. Until next time, bye.